In previous lessons, you saw me demonstrate the use of basic find techniques to perform searches in FileMaker, and you'll have noticed that it's very straightforward. First, you go into Find Mode, then you enter a character or perhaps a string of characters of the word, name or other value you want to locate, then you click on the Perform Find button, or simply press the Return or Enter key, and any records that match the find criteria are extracted and presented as a subset known as the found set, while all the records that didn't match the search string are temporarily omitted. FileMaker also intelligently applies find criteria in slightly different ways depending on the data type of the field you search in. For example, I just placed a search string, the letter K, in the last name field, and FileMaker returned all the records that have a value in the last name field that starts with K. However, if I do something similar in a number field, say the serial number field, when I enter a search string such as the numeral 1 and press the Enter key to perform the find, FileMaker looks for records with a matching numeric value, so it returns only the record that has the number 1 in the serial number field. What it doesn't do, in this case, is return all the records that have a value in the serial number field that happens to start with a 1. So the way finds work is specific to the kind of field you enter your search criteria in. Sometimes you'll want to change the way the find works. So for instance, rather than searching for words that start with the string you enter, you might be searching in a text field and only want to see records where the word you enter is there in its entirety. FileMaker provides various find operators that you can add to your search criteria to do that or a variety of other things. To match on whole words only, the equals operator is used. So you just put the equals sign before the word in your search criteria and FileMaker looks for records that have values matching the whole word only. The find operators, along with brief descriptions of what each of them does, appear under this handy operators menu in the lower part of the status toolbar whenever you're in find mode. So they're always in reach whenever you need them. As you can see, they include various wildcard characters, as well as range and match operators. It's easy enough to select them from the menu, but if you remember what the operator you need is, you don't have to use the menu, you can just type the operator along with the rest of your search string. So for example, if I go into the last name field and type equals K, when I click the Perform Find button, FileMaker indicates that it can't find matching records because there are no records with just the letter K on its own in the last name field. You also saw that the found set of records and the omitted set of records can be swapped very easily using the show omitted only command on the records menu. Let me demonstrate that again. I'll go into find mode, search again for records starting with K in the last name field, and now I'll choose show omitted only. And I can do the same thing by using the Pi icon on the status toolbar. In either case, I end up with a subset of records, which are all the records where the last name doesn't start with K. It's neat to be able to do that, and it took only two quick steps to get there, performing the find and then swapping the found and omitted sets. You can think of it, if you like, as a double negative. However, there's a neat way to get to the same point in one step rather than two. If I go into find mode again, Enter the criteria in the last name field, the criteria that I don't want to find, and then choose from the matching records option on the status toolbar to omit matching records. The find is applied in reverse, and the records that are returned when I click on Perform Find are those that don't match the criteria that I entered. And now, of course, if I reverse the find again by clicking on the Pi icon to show only the omitted records, then I get the records which do start with the letter K in the last name. Along slightly different lines, another neat trick that's good to know is that if you enter the exact match operator on its own, like so, this time I'll enter into the middle name field, and I'll just put in the exact match operator, which is the equals sign, FileMaker interprets that as you searching for records that have a value of exactly nothing in the field. So you get an extract of the records in which the field you entered the operator in is empty. I'll perform the find, and now we have the records that have a blank middle name field. And of course, if I now click on the Pi icon to show omitted records only, we're now seeing the only records in the database where the middle name field does have a value. 
And of course, when you're in browse mode, you can manually emit a record from the subset on display using the emit record command on the records menu or the corresponding keyboard shortcut. That means if your find gets close to what you want, but the result includes a record or two that you didn't intend, rather than starting over and refining the find criteria until you get it right, you have the option to just adjust the results manually by omitting a couple of records. So with these few simple tricks, it starts to become possible to quickly locate records you need and temporarily isolate them as a subset to print, summarize, or perform any other operation.